that was like the mo one of the most hurtful things that's happened to us in this band. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Metal Remains Backstage. I'm Manuel. We are at the uh, State of Unrest Tour 2023 with my friend Tony from the band Municipal Waste. Hello. We're not really backstage, we're on the bus. Yeah, we're on the bus. That's only the name of our uh, show. But, uh, Tony, how are you today? Um, I'm good. I'm very good. I'm uh, relaxed. It was it's wonderful weather. We've been in fucking clouds <laughs> for about four weeks now, and the sun finally came out. Right, we got to Spain, and it reminds me of home. So I'm happy. I'm in a real good mood today. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we always like to know what artists are currently listening. So what have you been listening to recently? Oh, uh, shit, man. I've been listening to this band, High Viz. They just put a record out. That's cool. I like the first record a lot too. Okay, where, um, where are you from? from? Oh, um, uh, Hi Viz. I think they're from England. Okay. Actually, yeah. And uh, our buddy, our buddies from Night Fever put out an oi band called Tyrant. That's really cool. Awesome. That's been, uh, I've been jamming that one a lot lately. Yeah. Great, cool. great. Well, we are at the tail end of the tour with only three shows left. How satisfied are you with it so far? It's amazing. It's, it's gone by really fast. Like, uh, it's weird. It's it's kind of we're at this point now where it's like it feels like the tour's just been gone gone by like in a blink of an eye. Yep. But then you think about like when we played in Helsinki, that kind of feels like it was a year ago. So it's weird. But you're like, oh, we're actually at the the end point. My voice isn't blown out. If, if you ever see an interview with me, usually on tour, I have no fucking voice. So not much partying. Eh? Uh, I mean, not so much. No, not really. Um, I didn't Keep wanna, it professional. I don't want to fucking blow it because uh, I know we haven't been here in a while. People have been wanting to see us, so been working real hard on on uh, personal health. Okay, to try to put on a better performance. For that's people. a good uh, thing to do. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the, your first time in Madrid, right? Oh, I think we played here years ago. I think we played here with the Haunted, uh, fucking art Way back. partying era. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, we. We've been to Spain a lot, but I'm not sure how many times we've been to Madrid. We definitely played here before then. Okay, okay. And it's lovely. Everybody here is very passionate about um, cool-ass music. <laughs> Great. <laughs> and uh, Tony, talking about cool-ass music, uh, we need to put on a solemn phase for the next part, okay? So I, I wanted to talk to you about Heaven. Heaven? Specifically Heaven's Gate. Okay. <laughs> Your project <laughs> that you uh, released uh, your EP last January, right? Uh, actually, well, um, it just came, came out on vinyl uh, like the first yeah, day of the Yeah, it was tour. only streaming. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. we, um, yeah, so. I don't even know what month it is right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, released yeah. alongside other well-established musicians, including Paul from Cannibal Corpse. Yeah. Uh, what was the conception of this strange grouping? Um, really, it was me and my buddy Mike. We both moved to, I moved home back to where I grew up, St. Petersburg, Florida. Um, we both moved there at the same time and met in St. Petersburg. And uh, we had a lot of the same interests and stuff. And on the flip side, I've been friends with Paul for years, yep. um, acquaintances, and uh, we always talked about, you know, fast music and, and, and stuff in general that we wanted to do. And I, we, we always joked around about doing a project together. But when I moved back there, now I live near Paul, and I met this guy, Mike, who's also in a killer band called Warthog. Uh -huh. um, and then even Jeff, I mean, we all like, just kind of hung out together, except for Paul. Paul lived further away, but all of us lived in St. Petersburg, except for Paul. But I was like, oh, I know a drummer. I, I know a cool drummer that would be interested in this project. Um, and it was Paul, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's Maybe a pretty, you know who he is. <laughs> it's a pretty cool album. You should check it out. And uh, I wanted to 
tell you this story how, on how I came to know about your band. I used to live in Richmond back in 2007. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah, wow. and like many 21 years old, I used to uh, go to Hot Topic for my year. And I was running out Nothing of excuses to talk to the goth girl at the, at the counter. So I asked her for musical recommendations and she told me about this local band, uh, Municipal Waste. Do you remember her name? No, I was never I, that that friend, brave. I, I was never that brave there. to ask her for the name. <laughs> was it at Short Pump Town Center? No, it was Chesterfield. Oh, Chesterfield. Okay. All right. So our Ch Chesterfield is where my family lives. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Like the family I have that lives in Virginia, that are left in Virginia. I have family in Florida and in Chesterfield, right. Coyle Heights area. So, awesome. Yeah, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> that's real funny. Actually, that's a small world right there. Yeah. Here yeah. we are in Spain of talking course. about fucking. Chesterfield Town Center. <laughs> <laughs> Thing is that uh, she showed me your recently released The Art of Partying. Okay. I took a picture of it uh, to know, and I illegally downloaded it from the internet because I was broke, man. As yeah, I mean, sure. I, I, was, I was earning like seven bucks a, an hour in a shitty late night uh, job. But it ignited something very special in me. Uh, so I, when I came back to my country, El Salvador, I started this band. Uh, like many young people back then were inspired by your music. And uh, there's a, a whole uh, culture set around the new wave of thrash metal, which is not that new anymore. In it's El Salvador? In El Salvador. There's a thrash family. That's a uh, group of, of people that they only do trash and, and old school, you know, kind of trash. I have it right here in my back, and, uh, by the way. Nice family. Okay. Yep. So uh, how do you feel about being the inspiration for that generation? And more specifically, knowing that whatever happens in the future, that will be your legacy. I mean, that's that's a huge honor. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot. I mean, I never heard of that. I didn't know that there was a bunch of bands down there <laughs> like that. I mean, I know there's, of course, there's thrash bands everywhere, but um, to be an inspiration of that is huge. I mean, that means the world to me. And I mean, when we started this shit 22 years ago or whatever, um, we never would have thought that and that would even be a thing. We were doing it because we were inspired by like DRI and Corrosion and Yeah, but nobody and... nobody used to listen to that back then. Yeah, I mean, we did. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't cool at the time or it wasn't, I'm not saying it's hip or anything like that, but it was just something people weren't really doing and we were fans of that shit. So, uh, I don't know, who, It's it, that I'm honored to hear that. It's, that's really sweet. And, uh, we need to fucking play down there because yep. uh, it keeps happening and we were supposed to play there fucking, God, I don't even know how many years ago it was and we got really ripped off. What? The guy took all the money from the promoters and disappeared, which has happened before. Not to us, but yeah, it's, it really hurt us. It's wild. I mean, it, it was, it would actually like, that was like one of the most hurtful things that's happened to us in this band because we were literally like, waiting waiting the day before to go to the airport to start a tour and the guy still hadn't sent our tickets and then we figured it out like this guy took all the fucking money and you know here we are like wanting to fucking play for people and so like you know we hadn't been down there in a long time we, we do, we'll do like one-offs down there yeah but, mexico I mean, we, we, cd yeah so. yeah yeah we, we like want to do it like a proper latin america tour and, um, okay, so promoters, pay attention. Stop, Don't rip, stop people. ripping people off, assholes. That's, that's shitty to do. <laughs> but shout out to the real promoters, the ones who actually like put their fucking ass on the line to put yep. on a show for bands. We appreciate you. Exactly. And Tony, before we go, uh, can you share with us one of your favorite backstage moments? Backstage moments. <laughs> We like to do this dumb game with water bottles and acquire backstage, and there's usually a trash can somewhere in the room, and we like just fucking throw it at it. And one time, someone had a dartboard in the dressing room, and it turned into a huge thing where everybody was trying to make sport up, where you had to like th we would throw the dartboard across the room, and people would throw it with darts. And this one guy like opened the door and almost got murdered by a fucking <laughs> fucking dart. That that seems something like out of one of your videos. Yeah, that's a good backstage. That, that's <laughs> shit we do. But every time we're backstage, it's like a weird, like almost like a high school thing where you see like the trash bin across the room and you like grab something, <laughs> you gotta throw it. 
<laughs> so we're fucking terrible with our dressing rooms. Usually they're just fucking trash with stuff that we're throwing across the room. It's like a, it's a weird sport that we play and that we're obsessed with it, but it helps pass the time, yep. which is important. Especially at uh, the end of the tour like this. <laughs> well, Tony, it's been a pleasure to meet you. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, well, You're going uh, to the stage to have your uh, sound check right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got a mustard packet. Is that like a tradition? Yeah, it's for my throat. Awesome. I, well, yeah, I wasn't very... aware of that. I, I've heard of propolis or sophisticated I'm, things. I'm lying. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, <laughs> if you like this interview, uh, like it and share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel, make sure to stream and to buy Electrified Brain, which came last year, great album, and also Heaven's Gate, why not? Yep. It's a very good EP. Thank you. Whenever you catch up uh, Municipal Waste on the road, make sure to go to their shows. Some assholes calling me right now. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and until then, stay metal.